In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a Glog on Glogster. So Glogster is just an online service that allows you to create online posters that have interactive media embedded in them. Kind of a fun way to assess our students on various topics for projects and things like that. So I've already logged into Glogster. If you haven't done so already, set up your account and get going. And it should bring you here to the dashboard. So if you need to, you can click Create New Glog. and it'll bring up this list of templates to choose from. We're just going to do a really simple poster glog, but there are other options if you'd like to explore them. It takes a few minutes, or a few seconds at least, for this page to load. And then once it does, we come up here to the top, to this text box right here, and give the glog a name. All right, then we can get started on the actual glog. So the first thing I want to do is change the background of my glog, and that's found under wall right here. So that'll open up some of the options that I have available. Uh, I can put in my own images, or I can choose things from the gallery. I can scroll through using the arrows. There are a lot of different options that you can choose from. And notice over here that I'm just in one section of the gallery. There are a lot of other areas here that I can choose from. And there's also this solid color area. So I could just put a solid blue or something in the background. Once I've decided, I just choose Use It and then I can click on wall again Just kidding close the button there to close it up okay so that's what my glog looks like at this point now I can go back into tools here and I can add text boxes like that and there are different papers and things that I can choose from and use Okay. And again, I've got my arrows available to me. So maybe I'll drag in something like that. And it just places it on my page. And I can click the arrow to make that go back up. There we go. And then I can just double click on it to type. Now I can also choose to import graphics of various kinds. There are little elements so I could put a pen in it or a paper clip on it, those kinds of things. I can also bring in images. That will allow me to upload images here, to bring them in by hyperlink, um, to pull them over from Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, etc. We also have the option of bringing in audio files. So I can upload, for example, a podcast that I may have created or some music that I want to incorporate into uh, the blog. And then I can also choose video. So I can upload a video here into the service. Or I can pull something in from Google Video. Or even create a link to the media that I want to add. Okay, So if I have a YouTube video, for example, that I want to embed, I just grab the URL and paste it in here. Sorry. OK, then I can just drag the elements around as much as I want, place them on the page, however. And when I'm done, I click Save and Share. Or I can click preview at any time to see my progress. I'm going to leave it public so that others can see it. And then I'll have a URL that I can copy and paste into a submission or a Google form or whatever I might need.